Hello. Hello. Very excited to be here. <laughs> it is, um, it's great to be in Edinburgh. Uh, I, I sort of worry about coming to Edinburgh every year because I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. Are there any vegans in? One of you? <laughs> the rest of you enjoy life. Um, I am hungry all of the time. I was vegetarian up until about a year ago. I said to my wife, I'm thinking about becoming vegan. She said to me, you can't become vegan, dickhead. Nobody's going to invite us around for dinner. We're going to be so bloody awkward. And I thought, what better reason to become a vegan than to not go to people's houses for dinner? I hate it. And I understand why you don't want to be vegan, apart from that one person. I get it, because vegetarian food is rubbish. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it is. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. <laughs> I'll tell you why it's a fact. The vegetarian food industry, they admit it. They admit it because they make vegetarian food that looks and tastes like meat. That's the biggest admission going. I've never seen it happen in the other way. I've never seen a pork chop masquerading as a nut loaf. It doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't understand the logic behind it. I don't want to eat meat, but I want my vegetarian food to look and taste as much like meat as possible. Why is that OK? It's like saying I don't like racism, but I find it quite exciting, so sometimes I get my friends to black up and I shout abuse at them. <laughs> I mean, I realise that's quite a leap. Uh... <laughs> I was at a wedding a while ago, and I don't know if they do this at weddings you go to, but weddings that I go to, what they always do, partway through proceedings, bring out an Indian buffet, yeah? To soak up the booze. <laughs> Somebody's dancing like a twat, throw a bargey at them. That's a strategy. <laughs> so anyway, I'm eating this bargey. <laughs> and I think to myself, I can't believe that anyone would want to eat food with animals in it, when there's wonderful food like this that doesn't have animals in it. I said to my mate, aren't these onion bargies amazing? He said, yes, mate. Yes, they are. But they're lamb pakoras. <laughs> I keep finding out, though, about stuff that I can't eat as a vegan. Like, for example, you know, you can't have honey as a vegan. Did you know that? Can't have honey. Do you know why? Bee slavery. Be slavery, mate. Think about it. You put them in a little prison, then every so often you come over, pump some smoke in, get them stoned, and then burgle them. <laughs> How harsh is that? And if you're the bee, that is just when you want some honey, when you're on a come down. But you can't have it because we've nicked it. Can you imagine how you feel as a bee? Like, dude, I am mush up. <laughs> what happened last night, bruv? Dude, I've got no idea. I just need some honey to get over this, mate. Oh, my God! What happened here? What happened? Dude, I told you, you shouldn't have trusted that astronaut. <laughs> I like going out in Edinburgh to eat, but I have problems. I love going out for Indian. Absolutely love it. I, I took my wife out for Indian a while ago. She did, she, well, we got into an argument, because she didn't think it was funny that I asked if we could get a discount if I sat in the window. But I think that's a deal. If you see me in there, you're going to eat in there, mate. I mean, come on, man. They're eating in there. It's so good, he's managed to convince a white woman to join him. I don't understand why. <laughs> we wouldn't eat in here. I mean, I love Indian food, but the problem is, I don't know if there are any Asians in here, but the problem I find is, whenever I go to an Indian with my friends, my friends all assume that I'm some sort of curry Jedi. Mmm, hot the gel phrase is. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We're sitting down for a meal, and one of my friends will say to me, um, Ramesh, tell me, um, what's in this, um, what's in this sag alu? What's in that? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what's in this sag alu, my friend. This is an Indian. I'm Sri Lankan. Why don't you tell me what you know about tortellini, you prick? <laughs> I'll be Ramesh Ranganathan, thank you very much. <laughs>